Hey everybody, Ben Pope here, and uh, just really quick, I want to do a faction vote video. Just asking you guys to pick one of the factions for Total Ratilla. I should probably start with that. So, here we go, we're going to go into the game here, and we're looking at... I'm going to pick four factions, um, mainly because I... I don't think these factions are represented as much, and they're also some of the newer ones. Um, so, in no particular order, uh, I'm going to list the factions. First is going to be the Caledonians. Um, I like their trait here for uh, less agent action cost and uh, more success chance and also recruitment costs for um, agents. That's pretty good. And they have a lot of uh, bow units if you go to uh, the custom battle here and look at Caledonians, I mean they have, they have pretty good um, spear infantry, sword is uh, you know medium, nothing heavy there, um, the axe man the same, so I think we'll be, be depending on their heavy spears to keep the line and have your um, bows do the damage, they also have, they have no shock cab and just one melee cab which seems pretty good, they have a lot of health. And also their um, general can be the royal archer, noble archer, or Celtic nobles. Uh, so nothing really strong for generals. So I think that will be just very different uh, to play as. Next, we're gonna look at the picks. Um, again, uh, pretty cool. Um, more morale for battles and uh, night battles and on sea and land um, be automatic or enabled automatically and I don't know if they have any r real cool units um, but they have a pretty good sword unit here towards the end uh, these two units uh, they have scare ability and gorilla deployment I think on I think these guys have gorilla deployment on everything, so that'd be kind of interesting to play with and just, uh, you know, ambush the enemy right away. Probably start behind them or something like that. Um, yeah, again, not not much for cav, one melee cav, and the skirmishers. Uh, they do have these wor wolfhounds, which I haven't played with much to see what they're like. Uh, next on. The list is going to be the Burgundians, I haven't seen many people play as them and I think they have pretty cool uh, trade here for IC Determination, uh, unit replenishment is better and uh, 15 plus to food for every region with poor fertility so you can, inf you can pretty much stay in the harsh low fertility lands with these guys and you won't have an issue with food. Um, and I think for as far as I mean since we're looking at units I'm gonna look at these units too I don't want to make this episode too long um, I think this Royal Brungundian general is a very nice uh, general unit to have it's not very fast only 70 speed for a horse but it, it, it's got a lot of health so if you should survive more than the rest uh, the strength for these guys isn't in melee as much, and they have the Germanic spearmen, which are good. Um, and they have pretty good bows, uh, and uh, and they're they have a strong javelin skirmisher, the barbed skirmisher, and the barbed javelin men. And they have a lot of melee. Shock cab is good, melee cab and shock cab is good, and also the Germanic raiders will be good. Uh, and a basic, a basic warhound. The last, uh, last but not least, I want to have a chance at playing the Danes because uh, I've been, I mean, I've always liked the Norse, Norsemen sort of mentality and uh, Viking cultures. So I think the Danes is probably the one that isn't as represented out there from the channels that I follow 
So Im immune to sickness and immune to high seas attrition, that means you can pretty much just have a go on the sea uh, with regular um, units and not just uh, actual boats, you know, like like transports and your guys won't be seasick. Um, so if you're out there, you can probably do some damage. They don't have like super strong units anywhere. But they're decent, they have uh, okay spears, they have pretty good uh, melee sword infantry if you get to, to this end here. And overall, uh, I think it's a pretty good balanced um, faction for units. They don't have uh, much for cav, they don't have sh any shock cav, which I wish they had at least one shock cav. But these guys make up for it, I think. Uh, once you get the uh, Viking Raiders, uh, Northern Horse Lords will hold up a, a fight. They don't have the speed. Um, but if you want speed, you go with these light skirmishers with any speed. So, yeah. What else can I say? That's pretty much all for the factions that I'm uh, putting up for you guys to vote. So, go down in the description and hit the link and vote on the poll and I'll leave this up for about a week um, make sure we have you know like I don't know maybe maybe 10 plus to um, the highest faction that might happen sooner than, than than a week so I'll just leave it for a week see what the votes are and then I'll uh, make a decision based on, based on the votes and I'll start a new campaign. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, do share this out with your friends and colleagues and buddies and uh, girlfriends, whoever you think might enjoy watching a campaign in the style that I play and uh, that they might have a say in, in the faction I picked. This, I, I mean, I just picked these factions because I think I would enjoy playing them and they're not very uh, represented out there that I know of, might be wrong. Um, and yeah, that's it really, um, if you really want me to play something else, leave a comment, um, and I'll consider those factions that get a lot of, uh, love in the comments for a future playthrough. So until then, I will see you guys, take care, bye!